I stand by this testimony at the Intelligence Committee. I have never met with or had any conversation with any Russians or any foreign officials concerning any type of interference with the campaign or election in the United States. Attorney General Jeff Sessions not backing down in testimony on Capitol Hill today. Lawmakers grilling him again on Russia. Sessions faced tough questions about his prior testimony. Evidence has come to light showing it may not have been entirely accurate. CBS 4's Mola Lenghi is live on Capitol Hill tonight following the story for us. He has details on the evidence leading lawmakers to question what Sessions knew. Mola. Yeah, Elliot Rudabay, you know, we heard some of the same denials from the attorney general that we've heard in the past and uh, uh, an inability to recall, as he put it, uh, some of the answers to uh, the questions that lawmakers were asking him, were really grilling him. But perhaps what stood out most in today's in nearly five hour testimony before lawmakers uh, was the attorney general's attempt to clarify uh, those previous statements he made in that previous testimony. Some lawmakers actually accused him today of misrepresenting himself during that previous testimony. That was his uh, confirmation hearing several months ago when he said that he had no knowledge of any contacts between the Trump campaign and Russia. Well, court documents later revealed that Sessions was actually present during a meeting with campaign aide George Papadopoulos where arranging a meeting with Russian President Vladimir Putin was discussed. He said something about going to Russia and dealing with the Russians and I pushed back and said you shouldn't do it. So I don't think I'm... Uh, uh, is right to accuse me of doing something wrong. So why the clarification? What has changed since the last testimony? Well, Sessions said today during that testimony that uh, recent media reports have helped jog his memory uh, and helped him uh, clarify and really crystallize some of those uh, statements that he previously said that he didn't remember. And we should note uh, that two campaign aides, that would be Papadopoulos as well as the former campaign chairman, Paul Manafort, they have recently uh, been indicted, as you know, uh, by a federal grand jury. Elliot Rudabe? That's right. Mullah, the attorney general also mentioned during his testimony that he's considering appointing a new special counsel. What's that all about? What's he looking to have investigated? Yeah, this would be separate from the Robert Mueller investigation, separate from the uh, investigation into possible collusion between the Trump campaign and the Russians. Uh, Sessions says that he's uh, directed prosecutors to look into uh, donations that the Clinton Foundation made that may have been tied to an Obama administration, Obama era uh, deal uh, that uh, an approval of a deal, I should say, that allowed a Russian company to purchase an American company. Now, critics say that this move by the DOJ or the consideration of this move is strictly political, that the president is influenced the Department of Justice um, and uh, you know they're making moves based on the president's political motives but you know Sessions really pushed back on that today almost offended uh, you know he said he'd stay he is a, a man of integrity that uh, you know he, that, that justice is blind and that that's the way that he operates the DOJ and that the DOJ is independent of any politics. All right Mola Lange reporting for us live on Capitol Hill. Mola thank you very much.